Yeah, it's going on. Just thought I'd go out for a bit of a hunt today, just for a morning stalk. Um, yeah, this spot I haven't hunted for fucking at least a couple of years, just because the climb up is really hard. Um, you can't really see, but it's real steep, but once you get up to the top, it's worth it. Um, it's really dry at the moment, so like, yeah, there's a, it's pretty noisy and I'm on a kind of slightly north face, but it's the only way you can kind of get up, because um, it's the only bit where you got access, so yeah, it's real dry on this side though, so I'm not expecting much action on this face, but once you get up to the top, it's like a nice flat grassy basin that's kind of well basin's probably the wrong word to use but nice flat grassy area with heaps of feed and it's on um, fringe country so yeah it, it is pretty dry at the moment so I don't know what it's going to be like up the top but um, there's quite a bit of tree cover too with grassy floor so I'm hoping it's retained a bit of moisture and there's still Nice green feed up there. Um, yeah, more to the point. I haven't gone for a good hike for a while, so worst case scenario, I'll just go for a hike, but I'd like to put something in the freezer. I'm kind of a bit low on meat at the moment, so, well, I'll um, yeah, see how it all goes. Also, I apologize for the um, audio, because I've, left the bloody microphone at home so I don't know what the audio is going to be like um, hopefully it's not too bad and it's not too windy so I'm hoping there's not too much interference but I'm not going to really know until I get home and chuck it on the computer so sweet as Rightio. got up to the top Ooh, another gunshot Sounds like it's coming from, I found a wallow, pretty active wallow a few, well, probably yeah, a couple of months ago. Um, and then saw a decent sized stag, but it was in the um, farmland next door to the state forest. So, sound like that shot came from that way. Hopefully you got lucky, or she. But um, yeah, it's uh, pretty dry up here. There's still a bit of feed around, so. Um, and the thermals are coming up from down here and blowing straight over into the farm there. So I've basically got a long strip here that's oh, there's about three and a half k long with quite a bit oh, more feed than a lot of the areas around here. So oh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I haven't seen much sign, but it's really fucking dusty. So. Can't see a lot on the ground. I saw a few hoof prints, but I haven't seen any shit. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, go along here, probably work along the top and then um, loop around and then come around that face along there. And if anything's bedded up down there, I'll um, hopefully get lucky, but <coughs> yeah, see what happens. Oh, something's going on here. I don't know if it's a... Oh, actually, I think it's Wombat. Yeah, it'd be Wombat kicking around. Having a good old snuffle. Uh, got excited for a second there. But... Yeah. There is a fair bit of feed around still. Just everything in between the feed is crunchy as fuck. So, slow and steady. I was due to be a bit of rain coming in, but it set around mid morning last night, now it's changed to the afternoon. So, I was hoping for a couple of mil just to dampen the ground a bit, but. <clears throat> What do you 
you do, eh? Once you're out of here, you gotta keep going. Let's go slow. Right here, I've hit a bit of a bit of a gang trail in here. Can't really see it on camera, but in amongst all the dry shit, there's a few hoof holes. So, and I'm going to see a tree rub just down there, so... Okay, I'll look how fresh it is, but... Starting to look around now. And there are... Little signs. They're just a lot harder to see, because it's so dry. This would be um, real good fellow territory as well. I'd love to bump into a group of fellow and take a fellow home with me. That would be ideal. Mm. But today I'll be happy with anything. Say much for a while. Yeah, it's pretty fucking dry up here. Dry up the air and dry and crunchy ground. Righty 
guy. Um, also, just sort of tree rub. Um, yeah, these top sections so dry. It's literally dusty out, so I'm gonna start looping around and heading back. I'm gonna drop down and try and work my way back on that, you know, that band where it's about a third of the way up. Well, I mean, a third from the top down. I'm just trying to work my way along there, see if I jump anything out of out of their bed or anything like that. But yeah, it's fuck I'm sawing up here. It's dry, fucking cocky as noisy as. Okay, I mean I'm hoping they're muffling some of them or stomping around because I can't really you know, get around that well without making a bit of noise, so uh, I don't know. You can kind of tell you more you keep going or drop down and loop back along those faces. I mean, it's nine o'clock now. So, I think most things will be better down. Um, Yeah, yep. some deer shit. Looks pretty old, but it's the first kind of sign of shit that I've seen so far. Seen a few old scrapes here and there, but I think mean, some of the game trails are pretty prominent, but. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely not a lot of fresh sign. They're in here somewhere, so I'll keep bashing around and making noise. See if I'll scare something away. Way out of its bed and then I can hopefully shoot it. I think that's the only chance I'm going to have to get something today, mate. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, that was pretty bloody close. Um, the wind's just picked up here. And it's coming in like gusts. And there's a big tree that was hung up there. And as I was walking by, <laughs> it started cracking and carrying on and fell over and just bloody missed me so gotta be, be, be a little bit careful and when I looked up I was looking straight into the sun so I couldn't see shit so I basically just had to run um, yeah bit of a close one anyway unscathed I'll keep going I kind of I found a game trail along here through here it seems to be a little more used than any other game trail I've seen and it's at that elevation as well which is a good betting elevation so I'm just going to keep chugging along this game trail um, definitely more sign down here than there was up top not real fresh stuff but it's definitely a lot more there's a rub tree there, there was that preacher tree around the corner and a few other rub trees. Nothing fresh though and there's lots of dry pellets on the ground too so the beanie whether they're still here or whether I'm being too loud because it's so fucking dry. Um, we will see but I am kind of slowly making my way back to the car anyway. It's 10 o'clock now. Um, didn't really want to hunt past lunchtime. Uh, but yeah, I'll see. I'll just keep chugging along, kicking, kicking all the way back. And yeah, maybe get something. Sweet as. Just 
just below me. I don't think that you're going to pick it up on the camera, but it's just working its way along down the bottom there. Decent size hind, so I'll be good, good meat. Stoked. I had to fill the freezer, so no, that's good. I'll um, give it a little bit and just let it let it do its thing, and then I'll go down and yeah, I'll sort it out. So, ooh, be shaky every time. I still get the shakes. Decent size hind by the looks of it. Um, had a yearling with it and it took off. So it's, it's had a chance to breed, which is good. Hopefully yearling looked old enough to go on a fend for itself. She didn't get far. Literally I think I shot her just there and yeah, so probably about 15 yards, 20 yards at the most. It's come out at a bit of a shit angle because I was up high so Hey girl. Hey ya. Hey ya. Awesome. Now the hard work begins. All loaded up. Uh, probably can't see that well, but he's bag it's just like absolute shit with weight in it kind of wish I brought my uh, my other bag that's got a meat shelf on it but I wanted to come in semi light <sighs> but um yeah oh well worst case I might have to hang a leg and um, come back for it because it's pretty fucking heavy 
But um, I'll see. I'll oh, just keep going and um, see where I get to, I suppose. All right. Sweet as. <sighs> it's pretty hard going. It's rains all over the place, and there's all these like little like round rocks about that big underneath the ferns. Keep standing on them, just roll my ankle. It's a little bit of a bitch. I was gonna leg it up the hill and then go across the flat grassy bit, but I think I'll probably kill myself going up that hill. It's pretty, um, it's pretty steep, and I'm probably, oh, probably 500 meters from the top or I'm about a k and a half traversing along here. So if I was to go up the top, yeah, it'd be an easier walk once I get up there. But then I've got to start up high and then work all the way back down again. So I think I'm just gonna keep traversing. If it gets too much, then yeah, I'm gonna to have to go up top, but yeah, I just have to soldier on, I suppose. This pack is not good with weight in it, I'll tell you what. I should have brought my other pack with a meat shelf, but Hindsight's a beautiful thing. Uh, just have to chip away at it, I suppose. I'll uh, touch base. Sitting here having a rest, and another um, another Sam has just taken off up there. Didn't look like a stag or anything, but made a fair bit of noise. So. That's the key, ladies and gents. Go at the top and then backtrack along that area about a third down from the top. Because this is where I've seen all the sign, there's heaps more feed down here too. Um, yeah, seems to be heaps more, it's still dry as fuck. Um, but in between all this, you've got quite a bit of food. Um, yeah, getting around's pretty hard still, but I'm not trying to be quiet at the moment. I think that's why our old mate over there must have heard me or scented me and just taken off up there. So, yeah, might have, to, might have to come back here at some point. It's a nice spot that's only an hour and a half drive from home, so that's good. Alright. Okay, go. Instead of going over the top, which I definitely should have done way quicker and way easier, I've kind of traversed around and it's just, even on topo maps, it's real hard to read the terrain, like how steep it is. And you see like a little, I don't know, what do you call it, a gully type thing. It doesn't look like much on a topo map, but then it just drops right down real steep. So you're constantly, up, down, up, down, and around, in and out, so, taking way fucking longer, but I'm getting there, getting there, staying positive, and I'll get there, this is what it's all about I suppose, the carry out. Righty, I just made it back out onto the road. Um, oh, fucking, I don't know how, but I've come out way, way, way out of the way of my car. It's probably another K or so up the road. So I'm, um, I'm just dumping the pack now with the meat and stuff in it. I'll take my gun and stuff and hike back up the road to the, um, to the car and then drive back down here and pick up the pack because my um, shoulders and my ankles are fucked. Um, yeah, that wasn't the most pleasant carry out, but <laughs> feel pretty fucking relieved to be at the road now. So, there's the easy bit. Um, but yeah, I guess if you can, try and backtrack where you've already walked. And you don't have to keep checking maps um, and my phone was dropping in and out of reception so yeah sometimes it was telling me one thing and then next it would be telling me something else so I was a bit all over the place so yeah anyway all good 
I'm uh, nearly there. So, sweet as. Got some meat. Happy days.